Hello everybody, Lucas Hanneman here. Welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday. It's another head-to-head -head edition on the channel. I love doing these comparison videos. It's a lot of fun all the time. Very recently, we did the P90s versus humbuckers thing, and that's uh, really, really cool. I'm glad you guys like that. Today we're going to do an acoustic guitar edition. Something very subtle, kind of like P90s and humbuckers. It's very subtle sometimes. This one is Dreadnoughts versus OMs. So if you're in the acoustic guitar world, you might want to stick around. And while I'm thinking about it, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell down there. So let's talk about Dreadnoughts first. Dreadnoughts are the guitar that people picture when they picture an acoustic guitar most often. Um, a Dreadnought guitar is uh, a squared off body shape. Like it's very square. The waist is very square here. It's a very large guitar. The thing that looks a little different about this one is it actually has a cutaway. This is a 2008 Pat Holly Dreadnought. Pat Holly is a, a great builder from, from around here where I live in the world in Ottawa. And uh, it's just amazing. It's a great sounding big, big, rich guitar with a big, big, big voice. We're gonna be pitting that up against a guitar that I have around just for a few more minutes right now, actually. This is an Eastman OM-1A. So uh, this is Eastman's take on the OM uh, guitar. This is all solid woods as well. Um, these guitars are as close as possible to each other. It's not a direct comparison. This one also has kind of newer strings right now, but it's just what I have around. Um, so the OM body shape, the biggest difference is that it's got a tighter waist here. And uh, the lower bout is a little bit smaller, about 15 inches as opposed to the 15.75-ish uh, inches on a Dreadnought. So it's a smaller body guitar, um, shorter scale length on this guy too. Uh, this one's 24.9 inches, whereas the Dreadnought that I have here is 25.5 inches. So a little bit of difference in the string tension and the overall feel. As you can see, it's a smaller guitar, but let's see how small, you know, how much smaller it really sounds. So let's start off on the guitar that we're all comfortable with. And if you've been watching this channel, you're probably familiar with the sound of it as well. The Pat Holly Dreadnought. Let's start off with strummy stuff, and then we're gonna go into other styles of playing. So here we go, strummy. And while that's fresh in your mind, I'm going to swap over to the OM, and we're going to do something extremely similar on this guitar here. All right. Pretty similar, actually, oddly enough. I kind of feel like if you get a an OM that's open enough, it's going to sound great for that strummy stuff, too. Let's move on to more of a hybrid pick type deal. Pick and fingers.
Same thing on the Eastman OM1. There we go. nice they both sound great the dreadnought certainly has more low end in my opinion from where i'm sitting behind the guitars but i'm really interested to hear what you guys think out there okay let's do some um finger style blues i'm going to start off on the dreadnought by pat holly here we go <laughs> Same thing on the OM by Eastman. Here we go. Okay, let's do some alternate tuning now. So I'm going to go into open G. And we'll start off on the Eastman uh, OM, and then we'll move to the, to the Dreadnought.
All right, moving on to the Dreadnought. We'll do the same thing for our final little comparison here. Gonna go to the open G tuning. And we'll hear how it compares. Yeah, so that's the question. I mean, is the comfort difference in the OM, you know, does it really come with a lack of things that the Dreadnought has? Um, is it worth it for you to go for a Dreadnought uh, versus an OM? I mean, at, at the other end of the coin, does the OM have things that the Dreadnought doesn't have? It's all personal opinion, of course. Um, sitting here with these guitars, I would say that the OM feels a little bit more comfortable for someone of my stature. I'm, I'm about 5'9", 5 5'10". 5 uh, so for me, the OM feels really good in my lap. Uh, but the Dreadnought really projects well, you know, and if I'm standing up, I don't really feel a big difference. Um, that's, of course, personal opinion as well. But, um, you know, the Dreadnought is the guitar sound that we all know. It's been on so many records. It's, it's a big sounding guitar, as we've talked about. Um, it's got a warm, warm, warm tone, and it's got lots of low end in the bass register. But are we really hearing that much more low end in the Dreadnought versus the ever so slightly smaller OM guitar, right? Right here. Which one to you guys sounds more well balanced? I want you guys to let me know. And let me know in the comment section below as well. Are you more of an OM player or a Dreadnought player? That's about it for this week. Just let me know which one did you like more, OM or Dreadnought, and which one do you guys play yourself? That's about it for this week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see everybody again next Tuesday.